Hi, this is William. This video is a little different than my normal self-defense videos that I post up, but I thought it would be neat if I showed you my zombie survival kit since surviving is part of self-defense. So what I'd like to do is show you what it is. So I'm just using a standard Altoid container. On the bottom I'm using electrical tape and I have aluminum foil tape to the bottom of it. It's heavy duty aluminum foil and it's about 5 by 5 in the size. So you can use this to make a cup to drink from or even uh, a pan to fry food in. To keep everything uh, waterproof I've um, used an industrial rubber band and it's sealing around the edges so no water can get inside the container. So let me open up the container right now for you. So we're just going to take the rubber band off. You know, this rubber band can be used for other purposes too. So if we open up the container right here So in the top of the lid, what I have is two buttons, two razor blades. These are like razor knives, box cutters, a really skinny one right in here on the bottom. It's a long skinny one. I have one fish hook underneath here and also a safety pin. So that uses the tape. And then, like I said, the electrical tape, when you peel this off, can be reused again. I also have a little reflective mirror. This is like a dental mirror. You can just get this 99 cent store anywhere. All right, so if you need to do a signal mirror. Two coffee filters. The coffee filters can be used to filter water out, or you can also put them over your face to breathe through, like a respirator in case it's really dusty outside. All right, here we have a little bit of aspirin, some Tums. This is uh, Advil. Q-tip right here to apply any medications. You can also take the tip of the Q-tip right here and shred it a little bit and a couple sparks will ignite it like a match. Here's some more cotton right here for kindling. Just shred it up and it's really flammable. A standard Bic lighter. Once it's out of the fluid, like I said, you can use just the flint and the spark and you can use it to ignite the cotton or the Q-tip. Right, and here we have a little piece of um, foam that floats, so we can use this as a buoy or a bobber if we need to do any fishing. All right, we have the hooks right there. Here's the fishing line right here. And inside, this is just an empty pin I used. If we open this part up, just pull this little part right here out, and we can dump it over, and it contains some needles with thread already wrapped around it in case you have um, any cuts or anything that need to be sewn up. And this is a pin for a syringe. So in case you get bit or you have any um, thing that needs to have um, blood released from it, you can just stab it in and the blood will come out. You can also combine this and this and make it into an emergency syringe. Here's a cut down pin. And right here we have a military can opener. This one right here, you just pop it open and you can use it to open up canned goods and everything. It's really handy to have for camping or anything you're going to do. You just open it up and then you just crank the can. Right here, there's 25 feet of 30 gauge wire, so you can use this to strap things down. Um, you know, there's probably hundreds of uses. I don't even know how many things you could do with this. Next thing, this is a little packet of sugar. What I've done is I put sugar in a straw and then I melted both ends just in case anyone in your group is, you know, a diabetic. Then if they're having any problems, you can just give them this right here. This one right here is the same thing. I burnt the end of it, but I filled it with neosporin. So that way if you have any cuts, you know, keep infection away. This is just a single nail with one black rubber band wrapped around it. You know, I'm not sure what you could use this for, but I figure it couldn't hurt to have one single nail. 
this is just a little light. What I've done with this, there's a battery inside here, and I've taken this light, and you just pull it out, and then you touch the two ends together, and then it gives you the the light. So let's, let me see if I can do this right here. Let's see. I'm trying to do it with one hand since I have my phone. Let's see. There we go. So you have your light right there. You just push it. As you can see, it lit up. All right. We have some alcohol prep pads. Two of those fit right in the bottom of the case. Some band-aids. These are 10 little bread tie-down straps. You never know what you can use those for, but they're super thin and they took up almost zero space, so I just threw them in the kit. Then we also have this little steel saw. I've cut this down. This thing can cut through chain link fence, um, padlocks, right? I've cut through a padlock using this, a master padlock. It took me about 45 minutes to do it, just holding it and going back and forth. But it can be done. So maybe there's a padlock on a food storage area and you need to get to the food, right? If you're running from some zombies and you need to cut a lock to escape, um, pretty much I think you're going to be dead because it takes about 40 minutes to do it. But, you know, if your food inside there, you can spend the time to cut the lock open. Here's a piece of aluminum foil just as a reflector. You can also use the bottom as a reflector or a mirror. All right, so that's my little zombie survival kit. Um, you know, fits right in your pocket. You close it up. It weighs hardly anything, you know, and you're good to go. All right, thank you.